hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple right, strip. good family. Okay, so just wanted to share this uh, quick video with you all. It's uh, Eric DaCosta. He's talking about Kenny Young. Now, this was on, it says, Ravens G GM Eric DaCosta on resigning Lamar Jackson, roster revamp, and draft strategy. Next up with, it looked like it says Adam Brennan, something like that, Brennan. Um, but he shared a little story of when he traded Kenny Young. For those of you that do not know Kenny Young, he was a Raven in 2018 where he was drafted, I believe, fourth round. Um, but, well, here's the story. We did have a situation a few years ago where I traded a player, and the guy was kind of an idiot, to be honest. And it was part of a trade. It actually was a great trade for us. We, we got a good player in the trade. He ended up being a great player for us. I was conflicted about trading this guy to the other team because he was a young draft pick, even though the coaches felt like this guy was an idiot. So I'm looking for him. I call him on my phone. I say, hey, come up to my office. So he comes up to my office and he's got an ice cream cone. So I say, uh, you know, why don't you sit down? So he takes the ice cream cone, okay, this is a true story, and he throws it towards my trash can, but he misses. <laughs> It hits the side of the can and it rolls on the carpet and I have all this vanilla ice cream. And so like in a span of like 10 seconds, I go from feeling bad about telling this guy that I was trading him to like rejoicing. I was like, dude, I traded you to the uh, Chargers, so uh, to the Rams. And he was just like sunk in his chair. And I didn't feel bad for him at all because just that act of throwing the ice cream cone was like so like, like lack of emotional intelligence that I was like, I couldn't wait for this guy to get out of my office. So that happens too every once in a while. You do have guys you just can't wait to cut. But, but usually it's a tough situation. Okay, so the man came in there with ice cream like, and just threw it. I still can't get over that. But like you having trouble with the coaches. And he was like, 2018, bro. 2018. You're having trouble with the coaches. Then you come in the, the GM office and does that. And it's obviously just something about the way you're acting. Because you drafted in 2018. You traded to the Rams in 2019. The Rams keep you a year. Then you're with, uh, they keep you two years. Then you're with the Denver Broncos. So the Rams then got tired of hearing you or the way you're acting. Then the Denver Broncos gets tired of you after one year and sends you to Tampa Bay. Oh my goodness. So many people, thousands of thousands of young men wish they could be in the NFL and just get a chance. This man here got a chance and fumbled it. I checked his Twitter. He hasn't been active since I think it said 2021 something like that and I'm like is he even on the team anymore and I look and I'm looking at he didn't do anything with Tampa he didn't even do, do anything with Tampa the games played he was game play was four he didn't start any and it's zeros across the board You talking about fumbling. I remember some Raven fans when he got traded to the Rams and he did that one sack. They was like, oh, man, look at that. We let him go. They quiet down. He had one sack. One sack. Let me see. Yeah. 2020, he had the one sack with the <laughs> and That was the only one. He had 2.5 with the Ravens. And that was actually his best year as an NFL player. That one year he was with the Ravens. Started three games. But it just shows y'all. It's sad. It's sad. 
If y'all know anybody that's in the NFL, you better let them know. They don't want to get Kenny Young. Trade it, boot it out real quick. The dude career was literally like three, four years. Then you're out. And they say that's the lifespan of an NFL player anyway. But yeah, just wanted to share that little quick story with y'all. That was interesting to me. I'm a I wish they had the video of the whole podcast. I like to see the whole video instead of just hearing the audio. Cause they got a little clip of that video, so I don't know. Anyway. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. We are close to the giraffe. It's coming up, coming up fast. Also, happy resurrection slash Easter. Everybody stay safe and God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. Vibe on 11 really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the funk.